Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So I'm out here in New York City with none other than the legend that is PWG. How are you, my friend? All good. Good to be here, good to be in New York. Absolutely, good to be reunited. Flew out with Unisport all the way from Copenhagen. And if you haven't checked it out yet, we filmed a video over on Unisport. Five skills you can use in a match. So go and check that out. If it's out there already, I'm sure it is. But today, we're gonna be learning three essential ways to control the ball with your first touch from a pass on the ground. And who's gonna show us those simple first touches? PWG. Of course. Let's have a look. Okay, so those are not the essential first touches we're gonna learn today, but you can't have PWG feature in a video without showing some of the ridiculous things he can do with a football. But let's get into the essential first touches. So the number one way you should learn to control a football is using the inside of the foot. So use an area right where you can see the three stripes on my football boots there. This is the widest surface area of the foot, leaves the least room for error, and the easiest way to get the ball under control. And it also sets you up in a good position to pass the ball back in your second touch. So start by mastering the close control, and you're gonna do this by opening up the foot parallel to the ball, using the inside of the foot to cushion it by removing the foot, taking it away from the ball as soon as you feel it may impact with it. This cushions the ball and keeps it close to the body. And once you've mastered this technique, you can keep the ball on the move. This time, instead of opening up the foot 90 degrees to keep it parallel, you're gonna turn it 45 degrees and actually meet the ball. This allows you to keep the ball on the move and tap it in the direction you want to go. And this is a great first touch to take when you've got a defender rushing you, putting pressure on you quickly. You can use the defender's body's momentum against them to get away from them, and then you'll have more time and space to make your next decision. So as that ball comes in, Turn your foot 45 degrees, meet the ball, and you'll tap it in the direction that you want to go. A third alternative is to open up the body and receive the ball with your back foot. This is a great first touch for wingers if they want to take the ball down the line in their first touch. The more efficient you can be with your touches, the more time you're going to have to make your next move. So if you can take the ball down the line as that defender's rushing in, then your next touch you can cross the ball in, and those extra seconds that you saved with your touch could be the difference between scoring a goal and not. The second essential area of the foot to control the ball with is the outside of the foot. So just like the inside of the foot, it's a wide surface area that leaves very little room for error once done correctly. So we want to turn our foot inwards so our foot is parallel with the ball to create a nice surface area to control the ball with. Then at the very last second, as you make contact with the ball, remove your foot by taking it away from the ball to create the cushion. If you leave your foot rigid, the ball's just gonna bounce off. But if you take your foot away at the very last second, it creates that buffer between your foot and the ball and takes the power and spin out of it to keep it close to you. So work on this, either use a training partner or pass the ball back and forth at a wall. Just work on controlling the ball, keeping it close to you with the outside of the foot. And then once you've mastered this technique, you can then turn your foot 45 degrees and actually meet the ball to keep it on the move. It's great to be able to keep the ball on the move if the defender's rushing in once again, but using the outside of the foot can be a bit more deceptive at times. So instead of waiting for the ball to come to the inside of the foot, you can meet it with the outside of the foot, take it down the line in the direction you want to go and use that defender's body's momentum against them. And that's gonna allow you to get away with time and space to make your next move. The final essential area of the foot to control the ball with is the sole of the foot. And this is an area of the foot that allows you to keep the ball as close to your body as you possibly can. And a great one for protecting the ball as well, especially if you have a defender on your back and you want to shield them away from the ball, using the sole of the foot allows you to keep it close to you while keeping it under control. So we're gonna use the sole of the foot, but angle our heel downwards and point our toes upwards. So here's an example with a defender on your back, you angle your heel down, point your toes up, which traps the ball in between the ground and your sole. And as you can see, it allows you to create distance between the defender and the ball so you can protect it. 
Alternatively, you can keep the ball on the move by rolling your foot to the inside, which allows you to take your directional first touch beyond that defender if they're rushing you at high speeds. Takes a little bit of practice with your timing. Make sure you're keeping that heel down though to avoid the ball rolling underneath your heel and away from your control. And make sure with all of these first touches, you get comfortable using both the right and left foot so you can keep the ball under control and take it away from your defender in your first touch in a variety of situations. So there we go guys, three absolutely essential ways to control the ball on the ground. Wouldn't you agree PWG? Yeah, I really do. And I think that becoming a football player is kind of like building a house, right? You need to build a strong foundation before you build anything else, like the, you know, putting in the furniture and like remodeling the living room and stuff like that. All the like fancy that. stuff, right? All the fancy stuff that I do, right? So <laughs> build a strong foundation first, learn to do everything with both feet, obviously, and then you can just go on from there. That is a perfect way to put it. Starting with the basics, then everything else builds on top of that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you've checked out PWG. His stuff is gonna be in the description box below. Check out his YouTube channel on Instagram for some of the sickest freestyle moves I have ever seen. And also make sure you've checked out Unisport, where you'll also find PWG on a regular basis. They have tutorials and plenty of other content to help you guys improve as footballers. That will also be in the description and on the screen right now. But also make sure you've checked out Controllo, my own seven day training program, if you wanna take your first touch to the next level. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.